Hey kids, did you know God is about to do something tremendous in the earth and he wants you to be a part of it? Let me explain. In the beginning, God had a marvelous plan. He so loved all the children of the world. He decided to adopt them all. God wanted to be the father of one huge family made up of children from every tribe and nation. So he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and make it all possible. Jesus paid for us to be adopted. Now everyone can be a part of God's huge family. All they have to say is yes. God had a very wonderful plan. God's plan was wonderful because God is wonderful. He is kind and loving and good. And He is extremely powerful. And He is never mean. God is tremendous. And He is worthy of everyone's love and affection. God is a perfect Father. Those who know Him love Him. But there was a problem. Satan who hated God did not want God to have a family. Satan decided to confuse people about God. Satan said that God was mean and cruel, and people started living in fear of God. Satan told people God was impossible to please. He told people God was like a snake, or an elephant, or a dragon, or even a big cow. This broke the heart of God, and it broke the heart of people who really knew how wonderful God was. But God had a cure. The people who knew how wonderful God was started to pray, really pray. And when God's children pray, God starts to work, really work. The many people who knew the one true wonderful God left their homes and families and were all over the world talking about Jesus. Millions of people said, yes, I want to be a part of God's dear family. It was tremendous. Little children started growing up knowing and enjoying God's wonderful Son, Jesus Christ. These children sang and prayed and laughed. No longer did they live in fear. It was splendid. This was the way God had planned it all along. God was smiling. God was so pleased. Sadly, though, there was one part of earth that had been left out. The people there hardly ever heard about God and His Son, Jesus Christ. This part of the world is called the 1040 window. The 1040 window is made up of over 62 countries, and it includes North Africa, the Middle East, and all of Asia. The children who live in the 1040 window are very precious to God. He knows each of them by name. He will not rest until all of them have heard of his desire to adopt them. God wants them for his family. This is where you come in. All over the world, children are beginning to pray for the children in the 1040 window. These children know that prayer is simply talking to God. You don't have to shut your eyes or fold your hands. You can pray anywhere and at any time. You can pray out loud in just one sentence, or you can pray quietly in your head. You can simply say to the Lord Jesus, let the children in the 1040 window come to know you. Or you might say, Jesus, please send people in the 1040 window countries to tell the children about your love. You can pray before you eat or even while you're taking a bath. Remember, when God's children pray, God starts doing splendid things. This is how you fit into the picture. Spend a little time every day joining your brothers and sisters around the world who are praying for the children in the 1040 window. Remember, prayer is simply talking to God. You don't need to use any fancy language. You can even pray just in a sentence. When God's children pray, God's people start thinking about things that are important to God. When we pray, the people who love God start obeying Him in new ways. Maybe God will even send some of you watching this video to the 1040 window. It's entirely possible that some of you may grow up to become some of God's best friends. But you don't have to get old to love God or learn how to pray powerfully. This book, available from your Christian bookstore, will help you pray for and understand many of the children in the 1040 window. 
For additional copies of this video, you can have your parents write. Remember, next time you look at a map or a globe, this part of the world is very precious to God, and it just might be part of your assignment from God. Find out all you can about it. Just think, many of the children in the 1040 window are about to become your brothers and sisters.